We have assembled a great team today to announce that in the town of Hempstead, we are going to be moving forward with banning flavored e-cigarette um, liquids. And we have no idea what is in those cartons, the chemicals that are in there. We've seen a host of really scary stories uh, published in the press these days about young, young people having their lungs collapse. We don't collapse. We don't know what's in these cigarettes. 3.6 million teenagers High school students and middle school students are, are using e-cigarettes. This is something that we need to address, that we need to stop, that we need to curb, and we think that this legislation is a step forward in that direction. Um, banning the use of flavors to make it seem like it's fun, like you're having some bubble gum when you're vaping, is what gets our children hooked on these devices at a very young age. Uh, on the county level, legislator Drucker, who was with us today, last spring proposed and actually filed legislation to do the same at the county level and I am hopeful and encouraged by this action and I and I'm very um, optimistic that it will be considered and passed by our legislature as well now with vaping everybody's doing it I mean that's what I'm hearing it is skyrocketing even more than cigarette smoking was back in the day vaping is happening at the middle school level at the high school level the nicotine is in a much higher concentration and let's not forget it's not just nicotine that's being ingested by these devices it's also THC in high school in middle school you can't smell it you can't detect it it's dangerous stuff unfortunately now we're seeing the results as uh, the county executive said uh, that that number is is horrifying and we know it's only going to grow of people who are having severe, severe effects of um, the use of e-cigarettes. And so whatever we can do to, uh, to stop this scourge uh, at the town level, at the village level, at the county level, at the state level, at the federal level, this is all hands on deck and we all have to do our part. It is an epidemic that the kids are doing it because of the attraction for these fruit flavored pods. And the highest level of concentration, one pod has more, is equal to 20 cigarettes in terms of nicotine. And the nicotine is what keeps them addicted to it. It keeps them bringing them back. And that's what we have to fight. They are not regulated, okay? So even if you're taking the brand name, you're getting it right out from their, you know, their uh, manufacturing um, plant, there's nothing regulated about this. They are chemicals that people should not be getting exposed to. They are superheated oils. That's how they're delivering this to people because you have to try and get it past the lung. It's a drug delivery, okay? It's a drug delivery device. Think about that. We are, we are selling and marketing a drug delivery device to civilians to inject, I'm sorry, to um, have them inhale and directly expose them to nicotine, which is about as addictive, if not more addictive, um, than heroin and other opioid narcotics. We have no idea what our kids are pulling deep into their lungs. And until more towns follow the example of this town, and ban the flavors hooking our kids. We have no way of slowing the enormous rise in numbers of this epidemic. And the products remain unregulated. There are new products coming on the market every single day. These kids can get them in the local gas station. They can buy them on eBay. Um, the flavors are too many to mention. If, if, if more counties and more more states don't follow this example, we are going to see the numbers rising. The numbers are already extremely high. They're going to continue rising dramatically. Our tobacco use rate is among the lowest in the state and the nation. We've been very successful. To think that, that a new mechanism has been found to hook young people especially, and all the comments about the flavors, cherry cola, watermelon, vanilla, are absolutely right that these mechanisms have been used to hook people on nicotine, young people. We're very fearful in the public health community that this will turn around and start to increase the rates of tobacco use ultimately after so much work and effort has gone into lowering the use of cigarettes uh, in New York and here in Nassau County. This is not something that's only in other places. It's really here in Nassau County. So we really like to support any measures to advocate to protect kids, to really ban e-cigarettes, to ban the flavoring, ban advertising, and really to protect the kids because um, we're fighting against billions of dollars that big tobacco is throwing. They're trying to hook a new generation of 
customers. The other thing is this, all of a sudden you go into your, your son or daughter's room and you're smelling a lemon scent and you have no lemon air fresheners, mm -hmm. you gotta be a detective. Hey, something's going on here, all right? And, and take a look at it. And then the ability to look for these devices, these apparatuses that take all different forms now. They used to look like cigarettes, then they, they, now they look different. Now they look like you know uh, things that you might insert into a computer or other things as well. Some of them look like toys. You have to look for these devices. I need a search warrant to go into your home. You don't need a search warrant to go into your child's room and take a look at what they might have. We are honored to support Erin King Sweeney in her goal of protecting youth and families of Hempstead against the dangers of vaping. As a sports enterprise inspiring young athletes and their families, the health and wellness of our community is a core part of our mission. And Erin King Sweeney's quest to limit the access of vaping products and flavors is of the highest priority. We stand ready to educate families at our events, to host health and wellness days, and to enlist our fans and sponsors to get involved. So um, I know we're a little bit tight on time, and we had a lot of speakers, but I think everyone was incredibly valuable. I appreciate everything.